Hurry up. Take it to the airport. Tell you that I'll settle this? About two missing workers ago. Now a third one is missing. I hope you understand. I do have a duty to inform their families. Of course, of course. I can't keep this quiet for too long. The family will know. The press will find out. And it won't look too good for both our countries. I know. The sooner we solve this, the better. Exactly. And in solving a case, two heads are always better than one, yes? Yes. If you don't mind, I can assign two special task officers from Thailand to help. <laughs> that won't be necessary. No, no, no. You know, sometimes in Thailand, two people quarrel. Next day, one disappears. Mysteriously, it's very common. And our police officers are very experienced at handling such cases. We also have people disappearing in Singapore once in a while. I see, but... Anyway, we have yet to confirm that these workers met with any foul play. I hope not, but just in case, my people will be more than willing to help. That's all right. I've already put my best officers on this case. I'm confident they'll give me results soon. If you say so. Anything turns up, I'll call you immediately. My embassy will be hearing from you, Ganesh. Anything on those workers? Uh, sir, still working on it, sir. Singapore is so small, you should be able to find them. Well, those two workers have no friends or families here. The Thai NBC guy was here again. He's up to something. I don't know what. If you don't come up with something, he's going to rub my nose in it. Yeah. What about the latest missing person? Anything? We're just going down to talk to his supervisor. Good. Settle it quickly. I told the embassy guy that you two are the best officers for this case. Better not prove me wrong. Clear? Yes, sir. sir. Morning. Morning. CID, yeah? Sergeant Alan Leong, Inspector Mike Chin. You made a missing report on one of your workers. Oh, Tasek, you found him? I uh, haven't yet. But we'd like to know a bit more about him. What's there to know? He's a Thai worker. But was he a good worker? Did he come to work late? Once or twice. Did he owe people money? Not that I know of. What about drugs? Did this guy gamble? I don't know. I don't know, huh? Okay, have you seen these chaps or not? No, never. Who are they? They've been missing for a couple of weeks. We're still looking for them. These foreign workers, they all look the same to me. What about uh, this chai suck? Did he get along with the other workers? I don't know. How would I know? I thought you were his supervisor. Yes, but do you know how many Thai workers I'm handling? As long as they're coming for work, I'm happy. You could be a bit more concerned. Uh. It's not I'm not concerned. I don't even speak their language. You don't believe? You try it. Where can we find his friends? Uh, they're taking a break over there. Thanks. Thanks. I am in the dormitory. Okay. Good night. 
Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, CID police, do you all know uh, Chai Sak? Uh, you all speak English? English? Can, can, Pampo, huh? Okay, you know Chai Sak? Chai Sak? Yes? Yes! You and Chai Sak are uh, good friends? Buddies? Chai Sak, uh, he has girlfriend? Lucy. Um, uh, uh, Lucy. 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 Great. Um, where's Lucy? Where, where can we find Lucy? Uh, where, where is she? Chasat on leave. Go Osaka. Osaka? Huh? Chasat went to Japan. Os oh, oh, Osaka Rangoon Road. Oh, sir, sir, sir. Karaoke lounge, sir. Ah, karaoke. Oh, uh, Lucy, what does she do? In uh, Osaka bar, she uh, she drink. Waitress, yes. Waitress, drink. waitress. Lounge hostess. Well, we can find out. Uh, did uh, Chai Sak uh, fight? Fight anybody? Fight. Fight. Drink. Fight. Fight and drink. Okay. Fight with whom? Uh, what name? Uh, Tirapon. Tirapon. Um. How, how many times uh, Tirapon tries to fight? Uh, one time, two, three. Tira, what? Why the hell am I speaking Tirapon, like that? Uh, good friend Lucy, drink, drink, fight. Huh? Okay, okay, sir. I, I got it. The uh, Tirapon was uh, after Lucy, right? Okay, so Chaisa was not happy, and so they fight. Yes, they fight. Uh, they fought, fight, whatever. So if we find Lucy. And then we'll find Terrapon. And maybe you can find out what happened to Chai Sak. Huh? You're pretty good. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thank you. Huh? See you all. Uh, Chai Sak, you meant it well. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Good job. Oh, yeah. huh? Good job. <laughs> okay, cheers. 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 What's on the market now? Kidneys. Found the body. Okay, I'll talk to him. Hi, I'm Sergeant Alan Yong, CID. I've told him everything. Doing research, is it? Can I go? I would like to have a few moments alone with my specimens, okay? Okay, okay. You didn't see anyone? After I put out his finger, I saw nothing. Okay, yeah. thank you. Observe the neat incision here. The killer knew exactly where to cut. Chai Sak? Yeah. Anything from the kid? No, didn't see anyone. What? It's pretty bad. Whoa. What the hell happened to this guy, man? Someone took out his organs. What organs? His liver? That's right. And his kidneys too? You want? Why would anyone want to steal a liver? According to Hannibal Lecter, the human liver goes well with a bottle of Chianti. 
Don't you watch the movies? The Silence of the Lambs. Are you finished? Not as much as this guy. But whoever killed him knew his way inside the human body. What's wrong? I can't stand pickles. How can you eat when you're doing this? If I have a stomach to do this, I should have a stomach to eat an overnight burger. Dr. Sue, can you please carry on? This killer knew exactly where to cut. He took those organs out very carefully, as if he needed them for some specific purpose. And judging from the excellent ligature work, you boys should be looking out for a surgeon. What kind of idiots have you got working for you? How would they to know that some students was going to dig that? That's not my problem. Don't worry. The police are not going to find the other bodies. They found one. That's enough. Look, who are they going to suspect? It's not as if you left your name cut in his body. We are shutting down. Let's think about this. I have over a hundred candidates on the organ waiting list. We have over a thousand workers here. Getting organs is no more a problem. Getting caught is. We can make a fortune here. Okay. If we just hold on, in three months' time, I guarantee we can all retire. We don't have to do this anymore. Back up. So, if I'm buying, when can you get this ready? How about this Thursday? Good. My son's coming back from Australia soon. Oh, just nice. You know, my son graduated amongst the top five in his class. Oh, he's very smart, Mr. Go. I, I, I know he'll really love this. This car can go up to 100 kilometer per hour in 4.7 seconds. Yeah. Kevin loves fast cars. Anything fast. He's a good athlete. Wow. Your son is really an all-rounder, Mr. Go. And what's more, Kevin also broke the 100 meter sprint record in his first year. Really? I can't wait for him to come home. Get it ready by Thursday. No problem, Mr. Go. No problem. Where have you been? All morning. I've been trying to call you. What's wrong? Kevin had an accident. What? Better call in the hospital. Hello. Judy, what's this about Kevin? Hasn't Auntie told you? Told me what? Well, Kevin and I went to countryside. He wanted to try some new stunts on his scrambler, and he got callous. So how is he now? He's lost lots of blood, and the doctor says that they're short of his blood top here. What? Can't be. He's in Australia. The hospitals have everything. Hold on. Mr. Go, the father's online. Mr. Go, I'm Dr. Watts. Doctor, what's this about being short of blood? We gave him what we had, but this is a country hospital, sir. Uh, we don't stock that many units of O-negative blood. Can't you give him something else? Uh, so your son is O-negative type. He can't accept anything else. Other hospitals have 
Have you tried other hospitals? Don't they have it? We've asked the Red Cross for help and they're checking with the city hospitals. How about donors? Are you asking for donors? Mr. Go, we're doing all we can. How bad is he, Doctor? He's had extensive injuries to his spleen. We may have to operate again. But don't worry, his chances are good. <laughs> Only if Kevin gets the blood in time. How much time does he have? Well, we hope to get a donor within 24 hours. I'll call you back, Doctor. You go and see him first. <laughs> You're not coming? Later. Do you have O negative blood? Excuse me? Does the bank have O negative blood? I'm sorry, but you'll have to write to the health ministry. I just want a simple answer. I'm sorry, sir, but here we take blood. We don't give it out. Blood! Do you have it in the first place? That's all I want to know. Tell you what, why don't you try asking the hospitals? I heard about the plans for the new children's ward. No point delaying the project because of lack of funds. Tell me how much you need. We have to give that blood to the Malaysia boy. $30,000? He's been on the waiting list for two months. This is twice my usual contribution to your hospital. The boy had a relapse. If he doesn't get the blood now, he dies. Look, as chief of staff, I have some connections with the media. Why don't I set up something for you later this afternoon? You can make a public appeal for donors. Meanwhile, I'll call the other hospitals. See what I can come up with. For your new children's ward. Don't put it in that box. Give it to me. My finest moment. Then what happened? Then what happened? Some damn fool of a nurse left the soap in the patient's body after an operation. The hospital had a reputation to save. It wasn't mine. Lucy working for you? You want a girl? I have better one for you. <laughs> no, 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 no. We just want to talk to her, that's all. How would you like to talk to me? Oh, you got a girlfriend? Uh, no. Wow, this is your lucky day. <laughs> I tell you what, you let my friend here do his job, 
and then I'll come back and we can hold hands. Promise me, eh? Come, let me show you where Lucy is. Well, sir, very smooth. Eh? <laughs> there? We'll be right back. Thanks. Terrible? Police. We need to talk to you. <laughs> Huh? Oh, you run away. What's this? Blue tape. Yeah. No wonder. Sorry. You know him? Huh? Please. I don't know. I don't know he died. I know kill him. And who? Who killed him? I don't know. I only bring Chai Sak to doctor. What doctor? Huh? Chinese doctor. How you know this Chinese doctor? How you meet him? He meet me. Okay, you bring Chai Sak to doctor, then what? The doctor pay me! Where is this Chinese doctor? If I tell you, I don't go to jail. Listen, if you don't tell me, I'll bring the jail to you. Hello, what are you doing? Uh, I'm moving to a new office. Burn this. How is this burning this? Throw it away, lah. Help me, lah. CID police. I'm oh, not selling any chewing gum. I don't care about your chewing gum. Do you know if that's a Chinese doctor who works here? Yes. What's his name? What is he doing? Look, this Chinese doctor is involved in a murder case. If you know anything, you better cooperate with us. I only know him as Mr. So. That's all. Do you know that? This one? Yes. Uh, Mike. Yeah. Looks like he's gone. Where's the sensei? Where did he go? Listen, uh, you must cooperate, otherwise we have to charge you with abetting a murder. He says he's moving out! How long ago? An hour? Alright, tell me, how does he look like? Uh... Sixties? Uh, yeah, this is Inspector Mike. Hey, I need to put out a stop list for a Chinese male, uh, late sixties, about 1.65 in height. Yeah, wear glasses. That's right. Yeah, thanks. What do you mean they haven't found a donor? They're still looking. How can they not find a donor? Australia is so big. I know. But Kevin's blood type is very rare. So what are the doctors doing now? Well, they've called all the other Red Cross units. I'm praying very hard. We will get a reply. Don't worry. I'll get the blood. How? I have money. I'll bite somehow. What? I'll call you back. For news, multi-millionaire and philanthropist Mr. Go Wee Xiong is appealing to the public for blood donations. The blood is for his son Kevin, who was seriously injured in an accident in Australia. Kevin has O negative blood type. My son needs blood. Doctors need to operate on his spleen, and the hospital doesn't have enough. If you have O negative blood type, please call General Hospital or call this number, 4534511. Please help me.
Kevin. Kevin. all right. Thank God. For now, but we have to operate soon. Have you found where the donors yet? Still looking. Kevin. <laughs> no, forget it. It'll take me an hour to get the blood. Another hour to make the deal. It's not worth the risk. We'll be out of the country before. No! It's not worth it! Do I have to drill into your skull? All right. If you won't do it, I will. What? I'll catch this worker and get the blood myself. You're nuts. I've seen you draw blood before. I can do it. You're only a salesman. That's right. And Mr. Go is just a filthy rich guy. And I'm just stupid to walk away when I can squeeze a fortune out of him in one night. You don't even know how to put the equipment together. What the hell do you want? Money. You're just taking out blood. Even a medic can do that. If you get caught? No, I won't. But if I do, I'll give the police your address so they can send you my regards. This is the last job together. Of course! Half a million? This is rare blood we're talking about. Not a sports car. Uh, all right. But I need some time to get the money. You'd better hurry before he changes his mind about selling. How would I know if the blood is genuine? You can test it if you like, but that will take some time. I'm just not sure how much time your son has. All right. I'll call you when I have the money. Good. Excuse me? Yeah. This is not illegal, is it? You went on TV asking for blood. That was legal, right? My client has the blood and he wants to sell. I'm just here to make sure that the deal goes smoothly.
We're sorry to trouble you so late, Mr. Go. It's all right. Take a seat. Thanks. We understand you've made an appeal on television. Have you heard from any donor yet? Uh, no. Mr. Go, we are asking you this because we don't want you to get involved with this organ selling syndicate. Three workers went missing last month. One was found with his liver and kidneys cut out. Since there was so much publicity about your son's health, we thought that someone from the syndicate might have tried to contact you. As I said, no one has tried to contact me, but but if they, if they do, I'll let you know. Please do that. Here's my card. Thanks. Thank you. What do you think? You seem nervous. What if he really bought the blood? I mean, can you blame him? I mean, he's just trying to save his son. True. Hey, what if Cindy needed a kidney? Would you go buy one? But if there are no other donors, and the syndicate is the only source, then what? The policeman in me says, no, I have nothing to do with the syndicate. The father... Missing workers is one thing. But when one of them turns up with missing organs... I said my men can handle this. When this goes to higher levels, I fear you will have a lot of questions to answer. Once my men solve this case, the higher levels can ask all they want. I really feel you should let my special task officers help you. I appreciate your offer. And uh, I'll have that in mind. Very well then. My best wishes go to your men. Thank you. Oh, a minor point. Your superior will also have a lot of questions to answer. You may like to keep that in mind. Of course. Ah, thanks. That's all you think. Yeah, Dr. Sue has put me off burgers for today. <laughs> yeah, Inspector Mike. Oh, good. Yeah, we're on our way. They're holding a few guys at Woodlands that look like a sensei. What kind of timing, man? <laughs> so, So Chin Peng. You know them? We know you're the one who brought them to the syndicate. And we're going to charge you with murder. I didn't do it. Why should I kill them? Nah, see. You see the one? Yes. Thanks. Hello. So, anything you know, uh, you better tell us now. Otherwise, later on, no more chance for you, clear? If I tell you now, will you help me? You just tell us what you know. Tell me more, what do you guys do?
Yes? Mr. Gold, it's ready for collection. Maybe at the airport. Terminal 2, departure lobby. Are we ready or not? You and you. We can take care of them. Join us at the airport. I have the blood. He found a donor. <gasps> That's great. But don't tell the doctors yet. I don't know how much I'm getting. Okay. I have to make some arrangements before I get the blood. When I'm ready, I'll call you, okay? You must thank the donor for me. He just saved Kevin's life. Yeah, well, yeah, all right. I'll call you back, okay? Uh, call the airport. Ask them to be on the lookout for Mr. Go Wee Xiong and two other men. One of them is called Ben. So I check the luggage. If there's anything, hold them until we get there. Uh-huh. Thanks. Come on. I'll go and check us in. Where are you, Arthur? Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Go! I have the money. I knew you would. So where is it? Where's the blood? Let me introduce you to the surgeon. This is my colleague, the surgeon. This is Mr. Go. Do you have it? Of course. Do you have it? It's been a pleasure doing business with you. Bye-bye. <laughs> Mr. Go! Mr. Go! Please! Please! My son will die. He doesn't get this. It's okay. It's okay. Is that all you can think of? You don't even care where the blood came from. But I checked. They said someone wanted to sell the blood. Why the hell didn't you tell us this? Yes? Vision? They have found the blood. What? They also found the donor. The blood is on the way any time now. <laughs> Something wrong? No, that, that's fine. That's great news. I, I'll see you later, all right? I'm sorry, Mr. Go. You have to come with us. Mr. Go, who sold you the blood? Him! You two go, Sergeant Allen. Take out Mr. Go. Yes, sir. Let's get yes, up, sir. guys. Tiani, stop! Mr. Head, we take this head.
Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Here's a report, sir. How about two favorite officers? Wow, hmm? sir. Good news, sir. Yeah. DSP Com commended me for a good job. Best of all, the Thai rep, he apologized to me. <laughs> good for you, sir. And I have you guys to thank. I'll tell you what. Today's lunch on me. Wow, sir. Actually, you know, I know this great Kuei Chap store we can go very nearby, sir. Kuei Chap? <laughs> yes, yeah, sir. Pig's intestines, pig's liver, Whoa. pig's tongue. Best, oh, sir. All of those good stuff, sir. MediaCorp Studios production for Channel 5.